In this video, we will discuss the branching strategy of Git. Let's look at it a bit. So first of all, all the work we did previously was on the master branch, which Git had created itself. Now here our project has gone. If you are working on one project and your friend is working on another project, what you are going to do is you are going to create a branch. You are going to click here. Here what will happen is create new branch, like how I created here. We'll call it JS branch 1, okay? This is my branch, the code will remain same. Now whatever changes I want, they would happen, for example, it would not have been pushed. So like here, I will add in index.html. What we will add here is input, okay? So what we will do in input is type equals to let's add text, okay? So let's add button to type, whatever. Now I will go to source code. This is my, I will stages first. Now, look, it is even saying that there was nothing here before, so there was input here. I staged it in and it went up. Now I will commit it. Adding a new line, we can write anything in HTML, okay? So I will click on the tick to commit it, which we have done before also. So what I will do then is I will push it. So it has been pushed. My branch is being pushed here. I will go and check if it has been pushed or not. Okay, so if I look here, refresh this, this page. So what has appeared here? JS1 branch has been pushed. So now someone else can also use my branch by pulling it. My changes. So what they can do is they will pull and we can do it from here. View command palette as well. Git pull, git merge, you will write here. To merge branch, we will write two codes. So we will able to do this kind of work as well. This is it for this video. Let's meet in the next video.